Earl Glanshaw Foreman here at Township Chevrolet for another edition of uh, Tech Talk. And today we're going to show you to get your body ready for winter. Roll the intro. Okay, so when winter hits, everyone's concerned. We need a video already on how to kind of get your vehicle ready, your engine, powertrain, that kind of stuff ready, looking after your battery, cooling system. And that's all fine and well, but some people, if you forget about the body of your car, the actual door rubbers and windows and stuff, and that can cause you a lot of headache in the winter time, especially when the temperature's fluctuating up and down a lot. So we're gonna show you a few quick tips here and tricks to do, some stuff that's real cheap you can do yourself at home and get yourself, get your uh, vehicle body ready for the winter and uh, hopefully save you some headaches. So there's just a few products here. Phil, if you wanna just zoom in. We've got this spray silicone uh, lube here and this is great for doing your door rubbers and window rubbers. And this keeps the, uh, the water uh, freezing in ice and, and causing uh, damage to either your door rubbers when you open, you know, your doors get stuck, you open them up and they tear, or your window motors and your window regulators, even you know, hand crank or power, you're trying to force that window down in the drive through going through your coffee shop in the morning and uh, you break something there because it's stuck. So this stuff will help prevent that. This does the same thing, but in a different manner. This stuff is your spray. This stuff comes in this kind of an applicator and you're basically gonna, you're gonna rub this stuff on the rubber. So it comes down to um, whatever one you wanna use. Um, this is the AC Delco product here. Uh, you can use this stuff. It's a little thicker, leaves more of a kind of white residue in, on, your, uh, on your door rubbers and stuff. It w does a great job. Uh, we prefer to use this here. It's a lot quicker. It's a little more messy if you're not careful. We'll kind of show you how to put that on without making a mess uh, and does the same job. And it kind of dries clear so uh, it, you don't see it, which is kind of nice. Uh, this next stuff here, this multi-purpose grease, you can replace this. I mean, something is better than nothing when it comes to lubing up your door hinges and your, uh, your door latches. So anything you got at home, this stuff here is good because it kind of, it's a thicker kind of waxier uh, grease. So when you, you spray it on, it sticks there. Uh, and it stays, right? So you can use your Rush Check green can, red can, uh, some of the WD-40 products will work. Anything will work as long as it's kind of like an oil-based stuff you want to get on the hinges. This stuff's nice too because it, um, it doesn't stay as sticky so it doesn't tend to grab the, and track the dirt. This kind of like seals it, right? So the only problem with using that uh, like a more of a liquidy style spray uh, is that the dirt's gonna stick to it and sometimes that dirt will actually get in the grease and then you've got stuff making noise and, and wearing parts out. So that's why we like using this. The next thing too that a lot of people forget about because we get a lot of um, keyless entry systems on cars now is your door lock. So even if you don't see a door lock on the side of your car, there is like a, uh, a little plastic cover on the, that covers the door lock assembly in a lot of cars. So if your battery goes dead and your key fob goes dead, you can go ahead and uh, pop that cap off and use that little emergency key in the back of your key fob to get in. So this will keep this from sticking and freezing up. So it kind of does a couple things. It's a de-icer one, which is great. And it also lubricates the lock and keeps it from freezing up in the future. So we'll show you to do that. So let's go over to the truck I got lined up here, uh, Phil, and we'll uh, show everyone how to do that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is gonna put on the DPL, which is for the door locks. Um, I just picked this half ton here because it's got a door lock. It's only got one in the truck, but it is exposed, which is good. Um, it's got a little nozzle on the top of it. We're gonna go ahead and take that off. We're gonna shake it up. And you're gonna stick that through that little flap that's in the door. And you're just gonna give it a couple of shots of spray until you see a little bit come back out of you. Just have a rag ready because it can make a mess. You can kind of get in there, give that a wipe, anything that comes on the, down, running down the door. And that's all you gotta do to keep your door locks from freezing. So pretty simple. You can use this on your ignition lock too because you, your ignition can get a little, uh, you know, as you're using it, it can wear a little bit. You can get a graphite uh, kind of paste that you put in door locks too, which works really well. Uh, it doesn't really have the de-icing uh, properties this does, but when the grease is in there, it won't allow the water to get in either. So it, it kind of does the same thing, but does it in a different, a different way. So it's nice to do these. You can do your tailgate lock. Um, the reason why it's good to use, especially in the newer cars, is with all the uh, keyless entry, no one uses their keys anymore, so they tend to seize up. So if you're doing this, put your key in, run your key in a few times, get those tumblers working that are inside of there, spray that in there, and that'll keep your door locks working and keep them from freezing through the winter. Okay, so these are the two products we're gonna, we're gonna apply on this vehicle to help with the window rubbers and door rubbers. So um, we'll go ahead and we'll use this one first. We'll just give you a quick run on this. Pretty easy. You pull this up, applicator out, you get some of the grease on there, and you're just gonna rub that up and down on the window, now you, on the rubber. You can see it kind of leaves that residue on there. 
that's why I tend not to use this one as much because if you're rubbing it on and off of that, it's going to get on your clothes. You can rub it in and you can see it kind of, you kind of almost wax it in and you can feel the difference in the rubber. It kind of makes it, keeps it supple, keeps it sealing good. So it's great. Doesn't allow the water to get in there and keeps this from sticking to the ice. So that's kind of the main function of it. This stuff here, this is the stuff I like to use. Any kind of silicone spray for rubber is good. You can use it. Doesn't have to be this brand in particular. Um, it is a little messier, obviously, because you're just spraying it. You can get overspray, you know, on the interior or whatever. So what I tend to do is I'll just grab a rag, hold that, give it a good shake, and then just some little sprays, kind of give it a rub down. Spray that up and down on the rubber and go around the whole rubber. And anything you get on the body, you can just give it a quick wipe. So if you'll watch, this stuff here will actually dry up. And when it dries, it's smooth. Same thing, keeps the rubber supple, keeps it sealing good, keeps the wind noises out, keeps it also from sticking. So I like this better, but it's pretty, it's just personal preference. Both are doing the same thing. Um, for as far as your, uh, your windows go, uh, just get you to come in here, Phil, and just take a look, I guess. So you wanna wanna, this is the window track. This is where a lot of your ice and stuff will build up, right in this window track. There's one on the front, it's a little bit shorter, but it goes down inside inside the door and if this one here this starts higher and this one runs down starts up here and then runs down and goes along the back of the door so even when the window's down it's still in that track well your water and stuff can get in there so there's a few things you can do you get this, these window sashes here you don't want to put too much anything real heavy grease that's why i like this stuff better because it'll streak the window but because this stuff dries it's not too bad so what i tend to do with this is i'll actually just spray a little bit on the actual rag itself and when it's wet I'll just run it along the whiskers here on the window with my finger and that just puts a little light coating on there. It won't streak the window, won't catch all the dirt and stuff and plus it keeps, you can see that's the dirt that's in the window sashes just from, and this is a brand new vehicle, right? That's just from sitting out in the lot so um, that obviously scratches the windows, makes the windows hard, harder to see out of. Uh, I don't have the straw for this can but if you have the straw it makes it a little easier for using at home especially if you're doing this outside in the wind but we're okay here. I spray this right into this window channel and I basically just flood it and just let it run down inside the channel all the way down the window. So I mean, I'll spray quite a little bit, give a generous amount in there. And then I'll go over to this side here and I'll do the same thing, Phil. And you can kind of see it running down the window there. And it's kind of, it's gonna run all the way down and I just leave it, wipe off any excess from some, any areas you might've sprayed it on but it's been pretty clean. This, that's why the straw makes it easier. You can actually shove the straw right in there and spray that down. So now that that's all inside the window, you go around and obviously do that with all the windows um, and all the door rubbers. And you gotta remember, you got, you got door rubbers here on the door. You got door rubbers on the body. So some of these are meant to keep uh, water from getting in uh, and wind noise. It's pretty much their, their, their job. I, I understand it's the job of every rubber to keep the water in window, but some of these are actually to channel the water away from the interior and some are to keep it out. So, but they, they all work the same way. So you wanna, you wanna make sure you do these door rubbers. You can see they go all the way around the whole, the whole vehicle opening and this one here, same thing. So make sure you do two rubbers on each door plus your window channels. Once you let that sit a little bit, run your window up and down, that'll get the sides of the windows lubricated and that there will keep you from getting that, uh, you know, that stick when you try to open your door or after you get that real, you know, uh, big difference in temperature change and you get that ice freezing up. Also, doing around the hatch, some of them have the window on the hatch that opens, you can do it the same thing there. So that's all we got for door rubbers and window rubbers. Okay, so the next stuff we got is the multi-purpose grease. So like I said earlier, you can use rust jack, the green can, the red can, you can use WD-40, something is better than nothing in there. I like this stuff because it's a little waxier and you kind of see what I mean, kind of sticks and stays there better, doesn't run, doesn't make such a mess and doesn't gather so much dirt and stuff on, on the uh, hinges or on the latches, which can, which can kind of create a problem. So keeps you from having to clean them all the time. So we'll go ahead, we're gonna start with the latch first just because it's right over here, Phil. You wanna shape the can up really well. Uh, and then you just want to go ahead and this is where your latch is. You can see there's already a bit of grease near this is a new vehicle, but we're just going to go ahead and just, and that's all it takes, just a little squirt. And then once uh, you're done, you're just going to go ahead and just clean off any overspray you get on there. Just kind of keep the, keep the vehicle clean, keep it looking good. So the grease now is just, it's just in where it needs to be. And that'll help keep that lubricated on the latch. So you're gonna go ahead and go around and do that to all four latches. 
five if you've got yourself a hatch or you can even use in the trunk latch, same thing. You can use it on your uh, hood latch as well. So there could potentially be six latches all together. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is gonna spray the hinges. So you got th basically, you got two hinges. You got your top hinge here. You got your lower hinge here. And then you've got this uh, door check. And this has got the detents in it that step your door out. And this is what keeps your door from swinging out too far if you, if you catch the wind, right? So this piece here, mostly on new, newer vehicles is all plastic. You got a hinge point in here. So you're gonna wanna go ahead, give that can a shake again, and give that quick little, little spray here. That's on your hinge point and give it a spray where it kind of goes into the door. It'll move itself around. Always, like I said, keep your rag out so you can kind of give it a cleaning. You don't want to get too much junk anywhere. So you're gonna kind of want to clean that up a bit. Okay, so that's great there. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray the lower hinge and the upper hinge. So this is where your actual pin is for your hinge. And I mean, this is all hidden from outside and any overspray you get here, you can just kind of leave it. You don't really have to clean it up. I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a little bit of a spray move up to the top hinge and give that a spray. And that's pretty much it. You can give it a wipe if you're, you know, if it's going all over the place on you, but for the most part, that's all you need to do. And that'll keep those hinges moving good and free and keep them from binding up and making noise. Hinges will stay nice and quiet. You can do that to your hood hinges if you want. You can do it to your uh, all four doors and you can also do it to your hatch. Um, the only thing you want to keep it away from is uh, the shocks. If you've got shocks on your hatch or shocks on the, uh, on your hood, uh, sometimes that stuff can catch dirt and then can actually cause a problem. So, so these are the, the shocks, the lift shocks on this particular uh, train. So they have these covers on it because the worst thing for these seals is dirt uh, and obviously rust and stuff because they'll tear the seals and you don't need to grease these. Uh, if you want to put a little grease on the hinge point there, Phil, if you want to get a look, that's kind of where it's hinged. That's okay, but keep it away from the actual strut itself. And obviously you can get in there and you can spray your, uh, your, your latch back here for the door as well. So um, that's kind of uh, your windows and your doors are those things that kind of people forget about and don't really think about uh, during the winter time. But uh, if you're trying to get to your car and it's blowing and snowing and you're cleaning off your windows, you go to grab your handle and you can't get in, that's kind of a pain. And you can do damage to window regulators, window rubbers, door rubbers. Uh, your latches and stuff and replacing hinges on the new cars. The old cars used to be just a pin you'd slide it in and out. Can't do it anymore. It's the whole hinge so it can be a pretty expensive repair. So just doing these few little tips and tricks and uh, those cans last quite a while. You can do all your vehicles you got at home and it'll keep that stuff from freezing up and hopefully winter will go a little smoother for you. So that's been another edition of Tech Talk. Any uh, comments or questions drop them in the uh, down below in the uh, in the link and um, we look forward to seeing you. Thanks.